tell you. I was glad to get off that flight. Well, I was stuck in the middle of the middle row. Worse it of all. <laughs> oh, well, we'd only just took off and the one on my left starts sniffling. Well, that's annoying. <laughs> then she starts sneezing. Well, I move over, I try and give her the cold shoulder, but those air conditioning systems. <laughs> I thought I'd be rattling around the place before you know it. And guess what? Next thing, one on my right starts sniffling too and sneezing. Five minutes later, and I'm stuck in between two liquid balls of flu. Huh. And well, I'm not having this, I thought. It's disrupting my movie. So I press the buzzer, and the stewardess assures me there's no extra seats, suggests I have a sleep. What? Were these two carrying on? I'm very sorry, she says. And then she sneezes. I give up. <laughs> yeah, well, the plane lands eventually. Couldn't wait to get off and get home. Oh, why aren't gonna wink asleep with the noise on that flight? They were all at it, I tell ya. Mm. I always always uh, travel lightly, just to uh, hand luggage. I didn't really wanna line up with that lot, did I? Nope, just straight through security, get to the car and home. I was out like a light, I tell ya. Yeah, well, when I got, got up this morning, I turn the tally on. I always like to catch up with the current affairs whilst the coffee is brewing. Oh. <laughs> and then well, you never guess what? Some virus outbreak in that place I was on holiday. Yeah, I'm not lucky to get out there when I did. And there's some warning for people who just come back about isolating. No, I'm all right, but I thought it was a nice little excuse to get a couple of days off work. So I text the boss <laughs> and ping, he's straight back at me. Of course, sure. If you need anything, just give me a shout. Well, this is the life. Well, I turned the tally back on after I'd showered and dressed. And there's um, news flashes on, yeah. It's like this virus thing is spreading like wildfire. Then there's something about the plane I was on. Yeah, no, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, well, apparently it was the, the last one out. Reckons we should all be self-isolating. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I took a bit. I had a bit of a wobble then. <laughs> Tried to... Well, I tried a couple of coughs, I tried to blow my nose, I even tried to look at my tongue in the mirror. No, I've got nothing. Nothing. I feel fine. I felt fine. <laughs> yeah, a, a little tired, mind, but that's just normal jet lag. Then the phone rings. Some man from border control or something asks how I'm feeling. I said, I'm fine, thank you very much. I told him I kept off work and he commended me for it. <laughs> he said the people on the plane were all going to hospital. I, I said, of course they are, with the amount of mess they were making. He asks if I've got a vehicle, any transport. Well, I have a car, so yeah. Why? <laughs> can you drive down to the hospital so I can be quarantined properly? With that lot, I said, <laughs> not a chance. And he says it wasn't a request, it was an instruction. Well, I told him where he could stick his instruction. He said, stay put, we're coming to get you. Talk about big brother. Yeah, well, I was right off. Drove into town, fancied a bit of a potter. <laughs> All well, the shops were closed. Apparently the whole country's in lockdown. <laughs> mm. And then walk past one of those big screen things. You know the ones that are working? No sound like, but rolling news. And a bleeding picture of my face. Yeah. Well, apparently they think I'm the spreader, super spreader. <laughs> but I'm fine. I tell ya. Well, I can't go home now, can I? I know that. Any chance I can stay at yours?